Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video on the channel, The Board of Knowledge. Now imagine a coast that stretches for thousands of miles. Imagine warm, tropical waters. This is Brazil, a country seemingly prone to hurricanes. However, these powerful storms rarely touch its shores. It's a curious case, a paradox of nature, especially when we consider hurricane hotspots like the United States and the Caribbean. What makes Brazil so different? The answer lies in a delicate balance of ocean and atmospheric conditions. Let's embark on a journey to unravel this meteorological mystery. We'll explore the factors that make Brazil a hurricane-resistant nation. Fasten your seatbelts as we dive into the fascinating world of weather and meteorology. So leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's get to the video. Hurricanes are like giant engines, fueled by warm ocean water. They draw energy from the heat, using it to power their spiraling winds and torrential rains. Think of it this way. Warm water evaporates into the air, rising like steam from a boiling pot. This warm, moist air is the hurricane's fuel. The warmer the water, the more fuel the hurricane has. That's why hurricanes typically form over tropical oceans, where temperatures reach 80 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. These warm waters act like a giant energy drink for hurricanes. Now, let's go back to Brazil. Although Brazil has warm, tropical waters, they're not warm enough to sustain a hurricane. The Atlantic Ocean currents that flow along Brazil's coast bring cooler water from the south. This cooler water acts like a barrier, preventing hurricanes from forming close to the coast. It's like trying to start a fire with wet wood. The cooler water simply doesn't provide enough heat to get a hurricane going. This is one of the main reasons why Brazil rarely experiences these powerful storms. But that's not all. There's another important factor at play. Wind shear. Wind shear is the difference in wind speed and direction at different altitudes. Hurricanes need low wind shear to form and maintain their structure. Imagine building a tower of blocks. If the wind is blowing in different directions at different heights, it's like someone is shaking the table while you're building. The tower will collapse. Similarly, strong wind shear can tear a hurricane apart, preventing it from gaining strength. And guess what? Brazil often experiences strong wind shear, especially during hurricane season. This is another reason why hurricanes rarely hit Brazil. The Coriolis Effect, a delicate dance of earth and wind. Now let's talk about the Coriolis effect. This is a fascinating phenomenon caused by the Earth's rotation. It causes moving objects, like air masses, to curve as they travel across the Earth's surface. In the Northern Hemisphere, the Coriolis effect causes objects to curve to the right. In the Southern Hemisphere, objects curve to the left. This effect is crucial for hurricane formation. As warm, moist air rises and rotates in a hurricane, the Coriolis effect gives it that characteristic cyclonic spin. However, Brazil sits near the equator, where the Coriolis effect is weakest. This weak Coriolis effect near the equator makes it difficult for hurricanes to start spinning in the first place. It's like trying to spin a top on an unstable surface. It just doesn't work as well. Hurricane Catarina a rare guest in Brazilian waters. But wait, there's more to this story. Remember how we said hurricanes rarely hit Brazil? Well, there was one notable exception, Hurricane Catarina in 2004. This unusual storm formed in the South Atlantic where hurricanes are virtually unheard of. Catarina was a bit of a mystery, a rare event that defied the odds. It formed under a unique set of atmospheric conditions, including unusually warm waters in the South Atlantic. Catarina serves as a reminder that nature is full of surprises. Although Brazil is largely protected from hurricanes, it's not entirely immune. Tropical versus extra-tropical cyclones, a tale of two storms. Now, you might be wondering, if hurricanes are so rare in Brazil, what about other types of storms? Well, Brazil does experience other types of cyclones, mainly extra-tropical cyclones. These storms are different from tropical cyclones, like hurricanes, in several ways. Extratropical cyclones form over land or water, fueled by differences in air temperature rather than warm ocean water. 
they typically have a less defined eye than hurricanes and can bring a variety of hazards, including strong winds, heavy rain, and even snow. Climate change, a looming question mark. As we look to the future, there's a big question mark looming over all of this, climate change. Climate change is already impacting weather patterns worldwide, and it's possible that it could affect hurricane activity in the South Atlantic. Some scientists believe that rising ocean temperatures due to climate change could make it easier for hurricanes to form in the South Atlantic, even close to Brazil. Others aren't so sure, pointing out that other factors like wind shear could also be affected by climate change. Beyond hurricanes, Brazil's other weather extremes. Hurricanes may be rare in Brazil, but that doesn't mean the country is immune to severe weather. Brazil experiences a wide range of weather extremes, from torrential rainfall and floods to droughts and heat waves. These events can have significant impacts on people's lives and the environment. Understanding these weather patterns and how they might change in the future is crucial for building resilience and adapting to a changing climate. The future of Brazil's coast, a call for vigilance. So, while Brazil may enjoy a relatively hurricane-free existence for now, it's not time to let down our guard. Climate change has the potential to disrupt the delicate balance of forces that protect Brazil from these powerful storms. Continuous monitoring of ocean temperatures, wind patterns, and other climate indicators is essential for understanding and predicting future hurricane risks. A symphony of factors protecting Brazil. Brazil's resilience to hurricanes is a testament to the complex interplay of ocean currents, wind patterns, and the Earth's rotation. Cooler ocean currents, strong wind shear, and the weak Coriolis effect near the equator work together to create an environment that is generally unfavorable for hurricane formation. However, as climate change continues to reshape our planet, it's crucial to remain vigilant and adapt to the possibility of a shifting risk landscape. The story of Brazil's hurricane resistance is a reminder that even in the face of powerful natural forces, a delicate balance can prevail. And there you have it, the explanation of why there are no hurricanes in Brazil. Thanks to its geographical location, atmospheric conditions, and water temperatures, Brazil is practically off the hurricane track. But it's always good to remember that despite this, other forms of severe storms can still hit the country. Did you know these curiosities about the climate in Brazil? Comment below! And don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell for more interesting content about our planet. See you next time!